Mr. Thomas. So, Eddie, what do you think about the stage here tonight? Yeah, once again, it appears that the stage is right in front of us, giving us a 360 degree view of the action. All right, all right, stop. You look like a fool. <laughs> I don't think you or the audience is going to be required to spin around tonight. Are you sure? I'm like 80% sure. But there is a reason that they had a basketball coach and his assistant MC tonight. We need to get the audience warmed up for this first event. All right, so here I'm going to ask everybody to please stand up right now wherever on you feet, are. On your, on your feet, stand up. Nobody's excused from this. We're going to play a quick game of Simon Says. Yes. What I tell you to do, you must do, but only if I say Simon Says first. Simon Says, put your hands up. Simon Says, put your hands down. Simon Says, put your hands back up. Put your hands down. Oh. oh. I didn't say Simon Says, keep your hands up, keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Simon Says, spin around in a circle. See, I told you they'd be spinning. Alright, you're right about the spinning. Simon Says, sit down. Great work, everybody. Now, you're not, you're not done. Now we're going to do the wave. Yes, when I point to your area, I want you to stand and throw your hands up in the sky like this. And then sit back down, and we're going to see if we can make it all the way across the round. We're going to start over here. So when I point to this section, you all stand up, and then sit back down and pass it over there. One, two, three. Okay, not bad. We're going to go this way now. We need to try it out one more time. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Let's see. One, two, three. Well, now that we're warmed up, let's get started with our first performance of the evening. Tonight, we have a special type of drama performance where you actually get to be the directors. This performance will require you, the audience, to create scenes and shout out suggestions. As your suggestions come up, the performers will act out your words. Improvisation is the art of making things up. The DP Theater Arts students have worked hard all year to learn the art of improvisation. Let's begin by giving them a warm GSI's welcome. All right, thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just one more warm up. I was warned that we were told to be, you know, just very controlled tonight for our students especially. I need you all to practice laughing, please. On the count of three, I need a big laugh, please. One, two, three. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is DP Theater. They have been studying improvisation. It's one of the oldest forms of theater. They have practiced, sort of. They literally will be making everything up that you're about to see. Well, we start with warm-ups too, so let's go ahead and face this way, please. We're gonna play a game called Machine. In Machine, these actors are going to create a machine. They have a word or a sound effect and a, a movement, but we need to give them a special type of machine. You can shout out any suggestions, I just need you to tell me something. Ready? Go. Tractor. I heard tractor. That's thank you, Mr. Thomas. That was fantastic. Um, thank you. That was that was awesome. Okay. Uh, I guess we will do the tractor machine. Are you guys ready? Ready? And tractor. The farm equipment. It's farm equipment. You know what? Maybe that's too hard. Let's do this. Let's. <laughs> Let's do the Mr. Thomas machine. Can I see a Mr. Thomas machine, please? Are you ready, Mr. Thomas, in action? Go. Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Students, may I have your electronic for the test? Great job! Please give him a round of applause. Thank you. Can you face this way? Mr. Thomas, you got into that perfectly. Thank you so much. All right, let's see who we have on this side of the room. That's awesome. Okay, I just need you guys to shout out a machine that you would like to see. Ready? One, two, three. Chair and tip. I don't like either of those. Can I see a G S I S? Machine. G S I S, please. Ready? Go. 
A G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F I B I S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A F G S A LCD, please. Can we line up? Can uh, the four of you head out? I just need J1 in, please. Okay, I really do need your suggestions this time. Now, this game is called LCD, Location, Career, Death. They are going to communicate to each other the location that they're at, and when they've guessed it, they will clap and spin. And then they're going to uh, communicate career, and then they're going to communicate the method of death, all right? Once the person coming in knows how they've killed them, they must kill the person that they got the message from. And our next person will come in. Here's the catch. They can't speak in English or Korean. So they have to communicate this all through something called gibberish. It will make sense when you watch it. I need a location, any location, shout it out. Bathroom, great, bathroom. That should be high class, all right. I need a career, career. I need an occupation. Teacher. Yes. Huh? Chef, the, the, the chef in the bathroom, that's fantastic. Okay, and I need a really weird method of dying. It can't be related to where we're at, so how should they die? Choke on a hot dog. Choke on a hot dog, thank you very much. Okay, you are about to see, so bathroom, chef, cooking, and then choking on a hot dog, okay? And they cannot use um, any English or Korean. Miss Kim, would you please open them up and uh, let them in. They are all gonna stand in here, and you will get to see them. Can we have a big round of applause, please? Big round of applause. their backs to the audience, you will see them. Ready? Here we go. We're going to see location. Remember, when he gets location, he's going to clap and spin and go to career. Clap and spin, he'll get the death, and then he'll kill J1, and we'll bring our next player in. Ready? Go.
promise to get out to the end. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we still have each other. You could stand under my umbrella. You could stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella.
Anthony, do you have anyone that would fly across the universe for you? I'm looking don't, at don't it. Don't say me. Don't say me. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. Why are you singing that? Because that's the title of the next song. Now who looks like a doofus? The next song is called Someone Like You, but it's not Adele. It's from the Broadway musical Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, my bad. I think it's time for you to give Grace your microphone. Please give a warm welcome to Grace Lee.
Kim Lozano up to the front to explain the arts portion of our event. 